two, one. James Bond, Anakin Skywalker, Harry Potter, Jack Sparrow, Marty McFly. When we hear these infamous names and we think about these amazing storylines, we are reminded of just how powerful movie franchises really are. Where else would we learn the difference between the good and the dark side if it weren't for Star Wars? Where else would we learn to swish, not flick our wands if it weren't for Harry Potter? And more importantly, where else would we learn how to time travel in a DeLorean if it weren't for Back to the Future? Simply put, movies are just as educational as textbooks, and they're just as important as family stories passed down from generation to generation, because in reality, that's what movies really are. When Charles Francis Jenkins used his phantoscope in 1894 to show a short film to his friends and family in Indiana, he became the first person to ever project a film in front of an audience in the United States. Today, according to the National Association of Theater Owners, there are more than 5,000 theater sites in the U.S. alone. But even with this high number, people all across the board are concerned that movie theaters are under siege. Digital conversion websites, illegal downloads, YouTube, Netflix, Redbox, all of these mediums exist to make movie watching not only more convenient, but also more private. Nowadays, you don't have to go to the box office to buy a ticket. You don't have to call your friends and ask if they're free. You don't even have to leave your bed, put on pants, or look like a person for that matter. When it comes down to it, people really need to realize how much is lost in translation. In an article from Time Out Chicago, Jessica Johnson explains how the art of movie watching is meant to be a shared experience. When you watch a movie at the theater, you're watching it with everyone around you. You laugh together, you cry together, and you connect to a room full of strangers without even trying. Needless to say, without the existence of theaters, movies wouldn't be the same. And without the existence of movies, America wouldn't be the same. So go ahead, people, ask yourselves. Do you love movies? Do you love America? Then do the right thing. Close your laptop, call your friends, go to a theater, and for the love of all things holy, please remember to put your phone on silent. Reporting live for your favorite local movie blog movication, this is Brittany Reyes. You stay classy, Chicago.